Orca Village. We finally made it. Ellie, Tio, how are you holding up? I'm doing fine. That break really helped. I am also alive. I saw me recall. Yes, and same to you. Though, are you sure that price is okay on your end? It's 20% more than what the other merchants paid. Well, you can just take that as a sign of how high we praise this village specialty is. I assure you, I'll be making plenty of profit. There's no need to worry about me. I'm glad to hear it. Always a pleasure to work with you. You see, the old legends mention that these divine wolves are not ordinary creatures, but holy beasts sent by Adios herself. Long ago, this land of Crossbow was a place rife with conflict, entrenched in blood. As the divine wolves watched the foolishness of man by out before them, they would occasionally help the weak or the injured. At least, that's how the legend goes. I can't believe I'd never heard this before. Zero. So the construction stuff is still going on, but currently not too loud. You can't even really hear it. And they're not even really doing anything at the moment, so I'm going to keep trying to record here. Hey, pretty certain we took a hit in that wolf attack. By extension, so did we. But the losses really weren't as significant as you'd expect. The whole thing sounds so absurd when you actually think about it. Oh, hold on. Okay, I had gotten a phone call for something completely useless. Anyway, the whole thing sounds so absurd when you actually think about it. I mean, if monsters were behind it, shouldn't there have been more damage? I guess if we were lucky, I'll need to give... Uh, yeah, I guess we were lucky. I'll need to give an extra prayer today to thank Aedius for protecting us like she did. Huh? The attack three weeks ago? You mean the one that everyone's been making a big deal about? I was fast asleep when it happened, so I don't remember much about it. Plus, I've heard we've already made up the losses we took. Why can't we just forget about it more? Forget about it and move on. Hmm. Acting a little sus, buddy. Farm work requires love and dedication. We make sure to treat every single crop like it was our, like it was a child of ours. When we're, when our fields were hit by the attack, I'm sure you can imagine how much that hurt the village, right? Hmm. Such a nice day out. Oh, you guys here do a little fishing too? Not exactly. We're officers in the Crosswell Police Department. We're here to investigate the monster attack that took place here roughly three weeks ago. You don't strike me as an American, but if you know anything about it, anything at all, please, do tell us. Oh, so that's what you're here for. The memory serves me, right? I was trying to catch a, a python head around then, so it wasn't actually in the village. You can bet your horses I heard the stories afterwards, though. I see. Well, thank you for letting us have a moment of your time. We'll just have to find weeds elsewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. But man, oh, y'all had to travel all the way out here for police stuff. Not gonna lie, that sounds rough. Well, that reminds me, you guys happen to fish? A day as beautiful as this comes once in a blue moon. It would be a shame you weren't be able to kick back and enjoy the sun for a bit. Oh, I can't forget about this either. This notebook is an angler's best friend. You can use it to record every detail about every fish from cover to size. Oh, are you sure this is okay? It looks like you're giving us an entire starting kit. Hey, no worries. I'm a part of the Fisherman's Guild. Our whole mission is to promote the culture and magnificence of fishing. It's common practice for us to have a few beginner sets on hand, in case we run into someone interested in fishing. We stopped by their building before. I think I have a better idea of what they do now after meeting this guy. 
Hey, stroke. This is a stroke of luck. Now we got a nice hobby we can do between jobs or something. Right, while one of us, not me, fishes, the rest of us can take the chance to rest. Rest is a necessity, you know. From what you're saying, I'm guessing you two are still tired from the walk here. But now that I think about it, the last time I fished was when Guy first taught me. Once Guy joined the police, I never had much time to go. Maybe I should try to get back into it. If you're itching to try it, there's a pretty nice fishing spot in Amorica. See that little jitty over there? Cast your line around there and you'll get bites in no time. I appreciate the advice. Thanks for everything. I didn't even know there was a dock. Huh? You want to know what about on the, 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 the night of the wolf attack? Well, I know it's been about three weeks since then. Sorry, I don't remember much more than that. Sorry, Morgan Carp, but you're about to get schooled. Damn, it's just that easy. So you're telling me, back then, when we did fishing, we were doing it like this? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you can't have that kind of re- you can't do that to me. He done hit me quick. Damn. Same little bastard. He actually is holding a fish. Yeah, so back then it was one button press, while in Cold Steel you gotta be doing this. <laughs> oh shit, a square! Oh, oh no, triangle! Oh, oh circle! Oh fuck! <laughs> like, that's how it was back then. Well, in Cold Steel that's how it was, and then nowadays is it, in these games it's like one button. Oh my god, funny how I'm playing this, which will have fishing, and Sonic Frontiers, which also has fishing. The morning after the incident, I found my truck covered head to toe in these ugly scratches. God, it drives me at the damn wall every time I think about it. This here's truck's crucial to the village business. Whoever did this has hell to pay. Anyway, these scratch marks definitely came from some kind of canine. Let's see, make sure I didn't miss nobody. Where'd that guy go? Hmm, we're missing something. Maybe he's up in the inn. There is a room I missed. Oh. Hmm, aren't you? Oh, it's you. You're a traitor from Crossbell City, aren't you? <laughs> That's right. I suppose Chief Tolta must have told you. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Harold Hayworth. I run a small trading company out of Crossbell City. Did the four of you come here as buyers, too? No, actually, we're... Oh, you're with the CPD. My apologies for the misunderstanding. Special support section, though. Why does that name sound so familiar? Oh, of course, the Crossbell Times! I take it you read the article on us. Please try not to let that influence your opinion of us. <laughs> There's no need to be embarrassed. All I see is a group of individuals who are working hard in a newly formed division of the CPD. Sure, that article may not have been the most flattering, but to be honest, I thought it generally tried to paint your efforts as earnest. Do you really think so? I suppose it could be interpreted like that, from a more optimistic perspective. <laughs> well, maybe knowing the author just made us assume the worst. Anyway, you mentioned wolf-like monsters. I have heard talk of a similar incident that took place over at St. Eurasa Medical College. It's worrisome to think this is all happening all... all over. 
Do you do business with St. Urisol too, Mr. Hayward? Yes, I do. You see, I wholesale medical supplies to them every so often. Rumor has it that someone there was injured during the attack. Also, wasn't there some damage over in that mining town mains too? Unfortunately so. The Guardian Force is conducting a search there as we speak. That's reassuring, at least. Hmm. Perhaps I should pay Mains a visit as well. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hayworth, something has me curious. We heard you gave the village a very generous offer on the goods you came here to buy today. <laughs> Did Chief Tolta tell you that, too? I assure you, it wasn't an act of charity or anything of the sort. Amorak specialty items, especially their honey, received glowing reviews these past few months. I simply wanted to use the opportunity to weave a nice impression on the people here. It's just good business, after all. Pretty shrewd, I'll give you that. I believe I understand now. As they say, trust is the foundation of business. If that's the case, you must be running a smooth operation. Oh no, I still have a lot to learn about business. Also, allow me to apologize. I sincerely wish I had more useful information to give you. No, please, don't let it bother you. After all, we should be the ones apologizing taking up all your time like this. Oh, not at all! Best of luck to you with your investigation. I'm sorry I can't be of any more help to you all. I wasn't near the area where the damages occurred. If these attacks continue throughout Crossbell, I imagine most of the public will be on edge. Please, continue to do your best in your investigation. Special support section, you have my full support. Wait, 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 there's another room in there. Crap, wait, ah! Oh, we're just be side. I believe this should conclude our investigation here. I agree. Shame we didn't really learn anything new. Our witnesses' testimonies aside, I was positive we'd find someone who at least heard of a wolf hound or something. It is strange. Anyway, I think we covered just about everything we can here. Next up is St. Urisal Medical College. We'll have to head back to the city first, though. Sounds good to me. Though I can't say I'm eager to make the trek all the way back there. Me neither. It is not worth the trouble or the pain. Let me make sure I got this right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you heard the ladies, Void. Loud and clear. Let's go check when the next bus stop, when the next bus arrives. I need to go back in here right quick. That monster attack has my mom questioning whether we should move here or not. Well, come tomorrow, I bet you'll have forgotten the entire thing. She's not the type of person to worry about stuff for very long. A quaint life living in the countryside has always been my dream, but... If these monster attacks are common occurrence, maybe it would be safer to simply stay in Crossbell City. Despite that, this calm, quiet lifestyle was hard to give up. Time to go. Let's ride the bus back to the city. If we can check the bus stop, we can see when it will arrive. So, the next bus comes in 30 minutes? Aw oh, man, what a pain in the ass wait time. Too long to sit here, too short to do something else. I was hoping I could grab a drink at the end, but that won't give me enough time to really enjoy it. You shouldn't be drinking on the job in the first place, Randy. Tia? Is something wrong? No, I just thought I heard something in the distance. Hmm? I will try maximizing the sensitivity of my sensor in order to amplify the sound. Please be quiet for a moment. Sure thing. We've seen her do this in Cold Steel 3. I am sorry, everyone. It must have been my imagination. Don't worry about it, Tio. Do you think you could describe the sound to us? Well... 
Though I could not confirm it, I could have sworn I heard howling. Seriously? Do you think it was the monsters we're after? Please, do not get your hopes up. I likely misheard it. It could have been a much simple... It also could have been a simple sensor malfunction. What should we do? Search the surrounding area for signs of wolves? Let me think. Tio, what's the range on your sensors? When, oper when operating normally, it should be around 50 sledge. However, at times, certain astrophoric conditions will cause sound to carry for twice that distance. Phew! Damn! That far, eh? It sounds like you won't be able to determine where the sound came from. In that case... That's okay. In the meantime, we'll just have to keep our ears open. Um... All of you really believe I heard something? Huh? You said you heard it, right? Yes, I did say that. But when I am able to hear things that the average person cannot, people typically assume I am lying, or that I have an overactive imagination. Eh, maybe, maybe not. But we all know that you're one in a million, Tiotza. What? It's true. Plus, why wouldn't we believe you? Sure, we haven't known each other for long, but... You've already saved us more times than I can count. I can't think of any reason to ever doubt you. Uh, I apologize, everyone. That question was silly of me to ask. Please, forget about it if possible. Uh, sure. It's really not a big deal. You're still here. Oh. Ah, Mr. Hayworth! Were all of you about to head back to the city? Yes, that's right. Are you doing the same, Mr. Hayward? Indeed I am. Now that I've picked up some souvenirs from my wife and son, I'm ready to return home. Were all of you planning on taking the bus back? How long have we waited until the next one? Unfortunately, it will be another half hour according to the schedule. If you're waiting for the bus too, you're welcome to stand around and shoot the breeze with us. We'd be happy for the company. Oh, I appreciate the offer, but... There should be just enough room for five. Can I offer you a ride instead? I'd be happy to drive you all back to the city. Interior? But thank you for the ride back, Mr. Hayworth. <laughs> My pleasure. I was heading back to the city anyway. Man, you must really be rolling in it if you're able to afford your own horrible car. Last I heard, these things were crazy expensive. I believe a vehicle of this model and many manufacturer would have cost approximately 80,000 mora. 800,000 mira. I said mora, I know. That's pretty impressive. Well, it's an invaluable tool for a trader like myself. I could take the bus, but transit time would end up bottlenecking business. So I decided to bite the board and get my own vehicle. I'm sure you had other reasons to buy it aside from business. For example, I bet it lets you get home to your family earlier, right? <laughs> you caught me. Ah, so there's the real reason. You even got gifts for him and everything. This is what people call the ideal husband and father. <laughs> no, no. That's giving me too much credit. I often have to go on business trips, so this is just my way of making it up to them for leaving home alone so often. How old is your son? He turns five years old this year. He's not quite a Sunday school age yet, but he's filled with curiosity. His mother certainly has her hands full with his constant questions and endless curiosity. I see. You all sound like a happy family. <laughs> yes, we are. Besides, we have to be happy. Mr. Hayworth. Oh, don't mind me, just thinking aloud. Look, we should be close to the end of the road by now. One more right turn and then we're practically there. Oh! 
the white wolf. Oh no, people are moving around. Ah no, that means there's more rounds. Hmm. Thank you for driving us all the way back to the city, Mr. Hayworth. Oh, it was nothing. It was on the way, so why not travel in good company? Well, best of luck with your investigation. You've got my full support. We appreciate it, sir. The best way to show your support would be to call on the SSS for any help you may need. Yep, and impossible. Let us know before you turn to the guild, yeah? You guys? My word. Did we try to be a little subtle about it? What? Someone's gotta do the PR for us, ain't that right, T.O. Tot? Indeed. Advertising is considered a crucial aspect of all business models. <laughs> That's true enough. If I'm ever in trouble, I'll be sure to go straight to you. Oh, that reminds me. I have something for you that might come in handy. Then again, as police officers, you might find it unnecessary. A map of the city? It's just a little something I put together last month to help guide tourists around. Feel free to use it if it will if it'll help. This will be really nice to have when we're patrolling the city. We'll be sure to put it to good, good use. We really appreciate all your help, Mr. Hayworth. Oh, think nothing of it. I only wish I had more to offer. Well then, until we meet again. Good luck, all of you. It's not every day you run into someone as nice as him. I agree. His skill at being a non nonrunting people pleaser seems to rival even yours, Lloyd. Hey. Maybe no, maybe, but don't forget, the guy is a traitor. I bet it takes more than being nice to run a successful business. Well, Mr. Hayworth and his business seems to be proposed, seems to be prospering, all while still cooperating with local business. Most cross bellion traders I know of try to make as much money as possible by trading abroad, so I get the impression that traders like Mr. Hayworth are very rare. Heh, <laughs> good point. Never thought of it that way. While he runs an honest business, groups like Ravachi are as dirty as they come. That's just how Crossbell is nowadays. Yes, that may be true. But people like Mr. Hayworth show that Crossbell isn't all bad. He gives me hope. Me too, Ellie. Anyway, it's already past noon. How about we head to the next place? Sounds like a good plan. St. Eurus Medical College, right? <sighs> I believe we should head to the south exit in that case. Right, there should be a bus stop there we can use. From what I heard, they've got buses heading to St. Eurus every 30 minutes. Oh, nice. Works for me. What are we waiting for? Let's head on over. Jesus Christ. Sounds good. St. Eurosol. Not how I planned it, but I'm finally getting to see Cecilia. Oh, thank God. Ugh. I'm so glad we can fast travel. Anyway, same dialogue. I think this is still the same dialogue as before. We just dropped off an horrible car, I'm jealous. Fuck! They are different. They're all talking about the car. Sometimes it's just horrible when you see they got new dialogue, but it's fine some other times, I guess. Where we better not be thinking about keeping it. I told him this was a one-time deal. He better not have forgotten. There are five different fashion magazines you can read in Crossbell. We make three of them in Crossbell, while the other two are from the Empire and the Republic, respectfully. I read through them as much as I can. Hey, it's the special support section! It's been a while since we last saw you guys. About a week, I think. So, what's up? Actually, what's the deal with the kitten? It looks fairly young. Maybe about six months old, if I were to guess. Are you her owners? No, uh, we found her roaming around West Street all alone. 
We think she might be lost. Heh, <laughs> she was pretty weak, but we made sure to give her a ton of food. And look, she's as good as new. Aren't we amazing? <laughs> but, uh... uh... Wait a minute, why don't we just ask them to help us out, Ryu? Them? You know we can't do it ourselves. What's all this about? Actually, there's a request we'd like to make. Mind hearing us out? To summarize... Mm -hmm. To summarize, you would like for us to find her true owner. Please do. She was wearing a collar when we first found her. We took it off because it looked like she was suffering when we first found her, but it should mean that she has an owner. Yeah, she doesn't really seem to like us all that much either, probably because she has no idea who we are. I'd imagine her real owners are worried sick by now. We should try finding them for this kitten's sake. Do you have any clues as to who the owner might be? Yeah, about that. Arnie here was thinking it might be a kid. The collar looked handmade. Doesn't that seem like something a kid like us would do? Yeah, I can see that. I guess we should narrow the search to households with kids then. That cuts our list of potential spots down quite a bit. Either way, it's your call, Lloyd. Well? We're probably going to end up being way to St. Urizel, but let's try and look for the kitten's owner for a bit. First of all, we should probably take the kitten with us. Is that wise? She is quite feeble at the moment. Don't you think it would be a bit hard on the poor thing to bring with us? I just have the solution for that. Mind letting me hold her, Ryu? Oh, sure. Okay, come here, girl. Ha. There we go, all tucked in. This should work, or we should be able to walk around safely at the very least. Oh, what's this? Who knew you had a way with animals? I admit, I'm impressed. Well done, Lloyd. So let me get this straight. You think it's best to assume that the owner is a child, right, Arnie? Yes, probably. And since we found her over near the residential district, her home might be somewhere over there. Either way, our best bet is focusing on residential communities. Ready, everyone? I really wanted to keep her, though. Arnie's parents won't let him keep a pet, and neither will my dad. That's why I'm begging you guys to help us out. Ryu's dad is really strict, so we need to be thorough when we clean up after her. Thanks, you guys. I'll leave the little one to you. Seal's so busy with work that she can't even visit us on the weekends. I wish she would, though. It's not like she has a husband to keep her busy. Ooh. Don't be too hard on her, Auntie Leta. Cecile's already had enough on her plate. Doesn't change the fact that I like to see her. Why would you just... Why would you say it like that? <laughs> like, you know how deep that cuts? Have you guys heard about this? There's apparently an almost ancient ruin along Yurso Road. It's a tower that dates all the way back to the Middle Ages, supposedly. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to snap pictures of it. Oh, for idiot's sakes, my husband's bad habits have resurfaced. How am I even supposed to cook like this? Wait a sec, this table isn't aligned with the center of the room. No, 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 this won't do at all. I've got to go and retake the measurements. Hey, did you know that they ended up opening a theme park in Michelin? The IBC financed and developed the whole, thi t whole, uh, the whole thing themselves. I heard they pulled all the stops by using all the latest technology to build the thing. I'd like to see it for myself at least once. I 
very strict when it comes to throwing out the trash. Please take care when separating out your recyclables. It's a shame that the state disposes only things. It's a shame that state disposal only does the bare minimum. I get peeved when I see them toss everything together, especially after I take such pains to organize it all. What a bunch of jerks! It appears to be locked. How bullshit! How dare you walk your house in my JRPG? Hmm, croissants here to die for. I made a routine to grab one alongside a nice steamy espresso. Always hits the spot. And makes me wish I had my mocha or a vanilla thing. Excuse me, might we ask you something? Do you own a cat by any chance? We found a stray kitten and we're trying to find its owner. No, I don't, but can I have the kitty? I've always really wanted one. Oh wait, actually my parents were in a store inside our house, so I don't think they'll let me keep the kitty. Sorry about that, we've got to find this kitten's right phone. Aw, oh, too bad. I don't know what am I saying, the kitty needs to go home, so I hope you find the owner. Another dead end. That made me sad. Poor girl. I tried greeting Momo when I came in, but the poor thing looked so uncomfortable, and then she just up and ran away. What a shy girl she is. Jesus H. Christ. I haven't seen Ryo and Arnie these around these parts lately. Where have they been? It's rare to not see them playing out front. God, I hate that this construction work has been going on since 6, and that's when I decided to finally go to sleep. I can't even hear my own voice when they do that. So actually, I've gotten no sleep today. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I was wondering if you've been looking for a kitten here, or perhaps if you know someone who is? A kitten? You know that this is a law office, right? We can't let a cat live in here. Kid makes a good point. Well, timer's gone off. I guess I'm gonna go set myself up in the next place, and then, uh... Probably gonna stop recording because I can't hear myself over this, and if you can hear them, whoops, they have the kitten with us. Probably not best to wander in the city in her until. Ah, shit. So I gotta focus on the quest for now. Alright, well, that's what we'll do then. We'll continue on later when I have the chance.